10 News has uncovered new information about Thomas Kaiser, the Chargers player arrested for attacking a bar employee in the gas lamp quarter in late December. The linebacker pleaded not guilty to battery, and today we're learning the incident may have involved his father. The football season may now be behind him, but Thomas Kaiser's legal troubles are all still ahead of him. The linebacker didn't have to appear in court, but through his high-profile attorney, Paul Fengst, he pleaded not guilty Monday to misdemeanor battery. In late December, San Diego police arrested him at Barley Mash in the Gaslam Quarter, just hours after the Chargers' big win against the Denver Broncos. A source tells 10 News Kaiser was at the bar with the male relative, possibly his father, Tony Kaiser. We're told a manager told Kaiser Sr. he was cutting him off because he had had too much to drink. Then the source says Kaiser Jr. bought another round of drinks, one for him and one for his relative. According to the source, the manager saw that and threw them both out of the bar. After the incident, Barley Mash owners gave us this statement. He, Kaiser Jr., inconspicuously followed an employee to an area outside the restaurant's office, where he sat and waited for several minutes. When the employee emerged from the office, Mr. Kaiser ambushed and brutally assaulted him. Then they went on to say Kaiser attacked the employee from behind, and they have the surveillance video to back it up. Barley Mash has proved that this was instead an unprovoked, vicious assault by Mr. Kaiser on a Barley Mash employee. Most arraignments usually take place within 72 hours after an arrest, but in this case, it was 41 days after Kaiser was arrested. We asked the city attorney's office if they were waiting for the end of football season. They said no. Now, I called Kaiser's father to ask if he was, in fact, with his son the night he was arrested, but he didn't want to comment. Barley Mash also didn't want to comment. The city attorney told us that Kaiser is charged with misdemeanor and not felony battery because the victim did not have serious bodily injury.